are typical of trying to do any jobs in Ireland at the minute. It's starting to rain on me. Take two at getting this boat done. The last day I got rained off, which is never a pleasant thing. So uh, I did get this side done. I'll show you a few bits of that. And uh, today I'm going at the other side. So while the sun is out and the hull is all wet, time for a bit of Y10. It goes on with a cloth and uh, hopefully it gets rid of that uh, yellow stain. quite a nasty substance as you can see how well it works and uh, needs to be looked after so uh, mind the old eyes and the pinkies yeah hope you can see the difference it makes there it, uh, this side hasn't been done and this side the chemical has just been put on my fabulous husband surprised me with these so I'm not sure if you can see it properly, but they're actually the flags. So we're going to get to change all of Sophie's um, signs and flags and everything this year. Um, I'm sure because it arrived on my birthday that that means that Glenn is going to replace them all himself. Or do you think that might actually mean that I'll be doing it with them? But either way, Sophie and I are totally, totally excited. She's going to be looking so beautiful and so fabulous this summer with all of her new sign writing and her new flags. So yay! Excited! So I had to do a video because after I did the last one, I sent it off to Glenn and he came back with like a laughy face saying that quote unquote i can't play with your present so this was my present so he can't play with it so technically that means i have to do all of this work myself so happy birthday to me eh so this is my first attempt at um doing the varnish of the woodwork um, so yeah all new I have the first coat on and um, yeah so hopefully it'll just freshen it up a bit Um don't claim to be an expert at any of this um, interior DIY stuff but um, yeah giving it a go okay Glenn is outside um, taking the stickers off the boat um, so doing some of the birthday present stuff, which is fantastic. Um, I'm having problems with my back at the moment, so yeah, kind of limited in what I can do. But I'm managing to do a bit of sanding and varnishing, so all good. Well baked on stickers, they've been baked on for 33 years. Um, we're going to take them off one step at a time. Bernadette um, varnishing away the inside of the boat. She left her sand it this morning and she's on her second coat of varnish at this Third stage. Third coat actually. Third coat of varnish. Well, it's great. Like I was saying to you, every job is like one job closer to lifting. So true. Yeah. So while Bernadette varnishes away there, I'm going to go out and remove the last of the stickers as part of Bernadette's um Birthday present. Yeah. <laughs> Step one, heat gun on a medium heat and scraper.
step two. Minky and some tenors. Some compound a cloth and get down and polish it all off. one way to get stickers off a boat. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see more from Fairweather Sailors, please like, subscribe, follow and we'll bring you more content from across our season. Doing a great job, Glenn. Thanks, Burr. Happy, happy birthday to you. Yeah, and happy International Women's Day too. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best husband ever. <laughs>